everyone, Lolly here. Hope you're all doing well. Just a quick little video because I was thinking about this today. I was cleaning out my craft room um, and I came across this. And when I first started making junk journals, um, writing boards was something that I would make and put in my junk journal. And it's just a hard piece of cardboard, just covered however you want to cover it. Um, and flat, of course, because you're going to put it in your journal to write on. So I haven't heard anybody make those in a while. Um, I also kind of use the same idea to make what I call our church fans. And that's a flat thing just like this. Um, some of them I make kind of rounded. And so you can just put it in your Bible and you go to church. And that minute when it gets hot for a second, you can just take that out. So I'll do one of those another time, but same kind of concept. So we're just going to make one tonight. Um, just real quick, just to kind of give you the idea. Like I said, I haven't heard that anybody made one in a while. So I don't have a junk journal in front of me. My art book here. So Okay, so what you would do is just, this is really full, so I don't know if it'll even fit. But <laughs> if you had a spot where you wanted to write, you would just put the board in there so you would make it about the size of your junk journal a little bit smaller so that it would hold the page and um find a so there's my little and then you could just write and you'd have something underneath there also would hold true with any kind of book that you're going to write in anything like that so let's just make one real quick just for something to do on a sunday evening calling it the weekend goodness already so I want one a little bit smaller than this um let's let's start with this. let's see and it doesn't have to be this stiff of cardboard it's just good that if that's the the source that you're going to use to be writing on you want it to be pretty sturdy so um, and then of course you, even though you don't want to put a lot of embellishments on there because you're going to be writing on it like this right here, this all, this is all the paper. I didn't do anything on here. So, um, it was all flat. The design was all flat. So that was awesome. I also like to use spray adhesive, but of course I can't find it just because I want to use it. So, all right. We are going to, let's see if this is half. And if it's not half, we will trim it down. So it's a little bit big, so we'll just trim. I'm going to go to, uh, I was going to go to the guillotine cutter. I don't know why it is when you are trying to clean a room, you make a bigger mess just hauling everything out just to sort through things and get rid of things. It's like, I just made a bigger mess in here, I think. So, all right. I don't worry about the edges too much. And again, I don't have a spray adhesive, so we're going to use Mod Podge. Now, you can certainly cover it where you have all the edges covered I'm not going to do that so right about here and all right so we're gonna right at the fold easy easy but like I said I haven't heard anybody do them in a while maybe they're old-fashioned but I use them in my book that I have in there in the living room because sometimes I'm just sitting there and I don't have anything like a lap desk or anything like that so uh, I have this little board that I just have in some of my art books and I just have it handy so I can just work on something really quick. I'm going to fold this over. <laughs> And cover it in any kind of paper if you're putting it in a journal you just you know you match the journal or if 
have a quarter rounder you want to use that I just I'm not going to take the time to get it out so all we've done is cover a piece of cardboard it kind of looks like a page so you can leave it just like this or you can embellish it just a little bit and again because you're going to write on it you don't really want too much of anything on there and you want to make sure your cardboard is really smooth and that's why I use the adhesive because it sprays um, flat there's no wrinkling I wanted to hop on and show you this idea because I was thinking about it all right so you can ink around the edges if you want to as long as it's an ink that won't rub off on your pages when you are um, writing so you don't want that ink to come off and I had these butterflies so I thought they're pretty flat I think they will be okay so it's like the simplest idea ever but it's a really fun idea and it's a little extra when you're making your junk journals um, you just put one of these in there it takes you know just like a second to make one and just a little added touch for the person that's receiving the journal from your shop so all right I'll put one more and then that'll be it for the embellishments just because I want it to be flat so you could still write on it and again just like the other one the paper can do all of the work of course depending on the paper that you use um, so this one I didn't have to do anything it came exactly like this so I didn't have to put any stickers or any kind of embellishments on there I love that paper that's it it really is that easy so you just set it inside your book uh, this book is really already curving so full so here we go so let's say I want to fill this page I can just put it in there and then instead of having that bumpy book that I have on my drawings underneath now I have a smooth surface I can write on Now I have a smooth surface and I could have done all my journaling or my drawing most of the time I'm drawing or something. So that's it. This poor book. I'll have to show y'all all my and then if you wanted to take the time just for a minute, you have extra paper, things like that when you're working on a journal, just make one of these and tuck it inside by the person that's buying the journal from you. Um, I think it's a nice little extra time. But that's it. I just wanted to show you that real quick just because I was thinking about it. I pulled this one out today um, when I was cleaning. I found it. I found all kinds of goodies today I didn't remember I had. So um, this one I loved always and so I was happy to find it. So and then this is our new one for today. I did use corrugated cardboard because I had a bunch that I found. But I probably wouldn't do that because you can see it left some ripples in here. Um, it'll work for my art book, but for a journal and to write, you know, um, actual script or something, I wouldn't use the corrugated cardboard. So um, find um, a file folder. You could put two together and again, use the spray adhesive and then you don't have any uh, wavy lines from the glue or anything like that or your two-sided tape, which that's the best way to do these. So they are completely flat and you have nothing obstructing your writing. So there you go so here's two ideas for the book board that can go inside either an art journal or a junk journal thanks for spending time with me <clears throat> let me show you this quick little idea and um, hopefully you were inspired to go out and make one as well and put those in your junk journals when you sell them or in your own journal when you need to sit and write something I'll see you all in